How's it going? Today we're going to be making rain particles. The great thing about these is they're super easy to make and you don't need any code. But before we begin, I've left a link in the description to some transparent PNGs of a ripple and a raindrop that you're going to need for this tutorial. Further, to make our rain particles, we'll need to construct in total two materials using the PNGs and three separate particle systems. But don't worry, you and I will go through that together and you'll see it's all really easy to make. So grab those files, fire up Unity, and let's get to it. Now that you're in Unity, select the Assets folder, then drag and drop the PNGs you've downloaded into the folder. Next, select one of the PNGs, hold down Shift, and select the second. Then change the texture type from default to Sprite. Scroll down and hit Apply. Next, right click, Create, Material. Rename the new material to Raindrop. Then, Go to Raindrop Shader and change it from Standard to VRChat, Mobile, Particles, Additive. Drag and drop the Raindrop Particle PNG into the particle texture for the Raindrop material. Next, duplicate the Raindrop material and rename it to Ripple. For the Ripple material, Drag and drop the Ripple Particle PNG into the Particle Texture. And that's it for your materials. Let's start by making our primary particle system, which will be our rain particles. Go to the Hierarchy, right-click, go to Effects, and select Particle System. Rename the particle system to Rain Particles. If the system spawned far away, just press Ctrl Shift F to bring it close to you. Then, set the rotation to where the particles are coming down vertically. After that, go down to Rain Particles and set the duration from 5 to 10. Leave looping selected then select Pre-Warm. Under Start Lifetime, change it from 5 to 2. Then, under Start Speed, set it from 5 to 1. Under Start Size, change it to 0 0.01. Next, under Start Color, select it, and set the Alpha to about halfway. Under Gravity Modifier, Change it from 0 to 1. Under Simulation Space, change it from Local to World. Next, go down to Emission and open it up. Change the Emission Rate over time from 10 to 150. And the Rate over Distance to 20. Under Shape, change the Shape from Cone to Box. Then set the scale to 10 by 10 by 10. Next, go down to Collision. Select Collision and open it up. Under Collision, change the type from Planes to World. Then, change the Bounce to 0. And change Lifetime Loss to 1. Go down to Collide With, select the tab, and deselect Player and Player Local. After that, select Subemitters and open it up. Under Subemitters, add an additional subemitter by pressing the plus icon. Then change both from Birth to Death. After, change the emit probability from 1 to 0.5. After that, scroll down to Renderer and open it up. Change the render mode from Billboard to Stretched Billboard. 
then change the speed scale to 0.1. After that, change the length scale from 2 to 10. And that's pretty much it for our rain particle system. Now that we've completed our rain particles, let's start working on our ripples. Go to the hierarchy, right click, effects, particle system. Rename the particle system to ripple particles. Under its inspector, change the rotation of the x-axis to negative 180. Then go down to looping and deselect looping. Under start lifetime, change it from 5 to 0.5. Then change the start speed from 5 to 0. Next, set the start size from 1 to 0.3. Then select 3D start rotation and change the x axis from 0 to 90. Then go to simulation space and change it from local to world. After that, go down to Emission and open it up. Under Emission, change the rate over time from 10 to 0. Then under Burst, hit the plus icon and change the count from 30 to 1. Next, deselect Shape. After that, scroll down and go to Color over Lifetime. Select it and open it up. Select the color and in the gradient, select the top right arrow, which will open up our alpha, and change the alpha to 30. After that, go to size over lifetime, select it, and open it up. Select the graph, and if it's tucked away, bring it up. Then choose the preset curve that goes from the bottom left to the top right. Then, go down to Renderer and open it up. Under Renderer, drag and drop the Ripple material into the Material slot. And lastly, change the Render Alignment from View to World. And that's pretty much it for our Ripples. Let's see how it looks. Now that we've completed our Ripples, Let's add them to our rain particle system as a sub-emitter. Select rain particles, scroll down to sub-emitters, and drag and drop the ripple particle system into the first slot of the sub-emitters. Select Yes Reparent, and now our rain has ripples. Now that we've completed both our ripple and our rain, let's start working on the raindrop particles. Go to the hierarchy, right click, go to effects, particle system. Rename the particle system to raindrop particles. Under its inspector, leave the rotation of the x axis at negative 90. Then go down to looping and deselect looping. Under start lifetime, change it from 5 to 0.3. Then under Start Speed, change it from 5 to 0.5. Under Start Size, set it from 1 to 0.1. Then under Start Rotation, change it from 0 to 180. Under Start Color, select the color, go down to its alpha, and change the alpha to 80. Then under Gravity Modifier, Change it from 0 to 0.4. Then under Simulation Space, change it from Local to World. After that, go to Emission and open it up. Under Emission, change the rate over time from 10 to 0. Then, under Burst, select the plus icon and change the count from 30 to 1. Next, Deselect Shape. Go to Color Over Lifetime, 
select it, and open it up. Select the color, then select the far right upper arrow, and change the alpha to 100. After that, go down to Renderer. Under Renderer, drag and drop the raindrop material into the material slot. And lastly, change the render alignment from View to World. And that's it for our raindrop particles. Let's see how it looks. Now that we've finished our raindrop particles, let's add them as the final sub-emitter for the rain particle system. Select Rain Particles, then scroll down to Sub-emitters. Drag and drop the raindrop particles into the final slot of the sub-emitters. Select Yes Reparent, and now our rain has a small splash. That's pretty much it for our rain particles. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you in the next one.